And he insisted to me that nothing changes. He said, my prep, my mentality is the same because I'm always ready to go each week in case my number is called. He said, really, I'm just excited to play Tennessee in the swamp. This is why you come to Florida. If there are extra nerves, guys, his head coach Dan Mullen had this advice. He said, let's go throw five picks. Then you don't have to worry about being the starting quarterback in Florida. He's keeping them loose. Not an easy thing to do. As Kyle Trask will get the football first. Tennessee won. And chose to defer after the coin toss. And we're underway at Gainesville. And a kick that finds the front left corner of the end zone. And he'll lean on LaMichael Piran on first down. First carry of the game and be a great way to start. And here's Trask to throw for the first time. As all day, he'll unload a deep ball. Looking for Grimes. Underthrown and adjusted to. He ran up the middle. On a keeper, it's Trask. Career. He's looking towards the end zone here to Kyle Pitts. And the tight end finds the goal line chalk for a Gator touchdown. First down and more. Jennings breaking tackles. Spins free. He's across midfield. Oh, it's a big early play. Because he plays so physical. Nice conversion. 27 yard gain, and they'll now play with tempo. Quick hitter over the middle. It's Austin poked the tight end. Montano gets out of the pocket. Four man rush on third and 13. Montano checks it down. No chance to pick up the first down as Tim Jordan blocked. it off to Damian Pierce, and he is hit and brought down behind some opportunities. And he comes in here on second down and long. A zone read to Malik Davis, who turns the corner, but there is a flag down, and the ball pops out. The ball popped out right along the sideline, and the balls have it. After further review, the Tennessee player who recovered the fumble was out of bounds when he touched the ball. Therefore, the ball Over the middle, wide open, Jacob Copeland. And forward progress gives him a first down. Trask under pressure, hit from behind. The ball comes out. And now it is a fumble recovery by To'o To'o. Well inside the field of play. Daniel Batuli knocked it out. Wide receiver screen to Jennings. That's a block. Gets down to about the 11-yard line before he's bumped out. The right. Instead, it's Todd Chandler. Chandler runs that way. At the five. Down to the three-yard line. Play action. Aaron Tano. That's blocked at the line. Aaron Tano gets the play off. Bullets one into the end zone. It's tipped. And on a dive, it looks like it's intercepted. Through the hands of Jawan Jennings. Trey Dean gets the, the pick off the carom. And the Vols give it right back. Garantano, nice eyes, looks away. That ball's right on Ju Juwan Jennings' face mask. Listen, you're the senior, fifth-year senior. You have to catch this football. And I know the thought might be, well, that ball's coming in hot. It's a tight window down in these red zones. Michael Piran looking for a cutback lane and not finding much. Piran this time finds a lane. He's got a first down. Trask well protected. High throw over the middle and he's got Kyle Pitts. Eight yards of a touchdown already. Looking for more here. Again well protected. Takes the check down to Piran. And Piran. Piran with a reverse. Flips it to Jacob Copeland. He turns the corner. 
with a cutback. First down. He run. Bouncing it outside. As Trask with the blitz coming from the backside. Fires one towards the end zone. He run. Gang tackled. Lost a half yard. And involved in here. There it is. Trask on the keeper. Tries to move the pile. And it looks like the ball's got the stop. Draw play. Chandler, nowhere to go. Time to discuss what they wanted to do there, and now it's an empty backfield. Aaron Tano, he's going to flood one to a wide open receiver, Dominic Wood Anderson. They're bringing a blitz. Aaron Tano tries to beat it. The free runner right in his face, and he finds Jawan Jennings. Toss to Ty Chandler. Net by Luke Ankrum, the starter from the beginning of the season. Play action here, looking on a quick hitter to the 40-yard line. Four-man rush. Aaron Tano puts it right into the hands of Marco Wilson. Total miscommunication between Aaron Tano and Marquez Callaway, who was just running down the sideline. And Marco Wilson sat in coverage and got an easy pick. Catch the ones they throw you. There's got to be some miscommunication there. I want you guys to see this corner right here. And as Garantano stares at him, he's going to squat a little bit. He's expecting Marquez Callaway to either run a hitch or a go route. Callaway saw it as squat coverage. That corner Marco Wilson was coming up. Garantano saw it as that corner was soft. Trask. Wide open, middle of the field. Again, it's Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Trask, off play action, swings one to the sideline. Tyree Cleveland. P. Ryan. They're running with P. Ryan, jump cut in the backfield. He's inside the five. Play action for Trask. Good quarterback play. Outstanding. To throw it away and take the field goal. It, it's, it's the right play because it's the only play. The players and coaches of our past. Ty Chandler on first down. Aaron Towner to throw on second down. Trying to get out of the pocket. Tripped up and he goes down. Aaron Tano out of the pocket. Hit from behind and dropped by Jeremiah Moon. Game still involved. That's that's great leadership right there. A screen on first down today. Another swing pass. This time it's Jawan Jennings making something out of nothing. Got to find 15. Another swing pass. Is that a live ball? Are the officials going to say that that was a live pass? Ty Chandler. After further review, the pass was forward, therefore it was incomplete. Again, well protected and allowed to deliver a strike to Tyree Cleveland for a first down. Cleveland makes another catch. L might have started the next week, breaks his foot again as he throws one over the middle here. And off to Damian Pierce. Here comes a blitz. It's picked up, high throw over the middle, perfectly executed to Freddie Swain. Up the middle goes Pierce. They snap it, and Trask with a pump fake. On the slant, Van Jefferson. Short. Damian Pierce. The pile moves, he's at the goal line. And it looks like Tennessee got a stop. Michael Pirine. Right at the goal line. Touchdown. Garland did a great job for Tennessee. Look at on the middle of that screen, breaking through. It looked like P. Ryan might just have broken. 
Was that ball coming loose as P. Ryan got to the goal line? They called it a touchdown, but that first look. After further review, the ruling on the field stands, touchdown. And based on the looks we had, couldn't come away with any other decision. They'll start with Eric Gray. True freshman to true freshman. True of Tennessee's offense right now. Draw play to Gray. To him. Quick hitter, Jawan Jennings. There's another quick slam. And looking to break a tackle, Marquez Callaway. Or out of the pocket. Being chased by Grenard. Gets to the sideline. He's got an extra gear. His ball placement. Tipped ball. And it falls in no man's land incomplete. Some coverage make the young kid think. They do just that. He'll fire one to the sideline and reaching up to make the catch is Josh Palmer. Mars going to lob one down the sideline for Callaway, and it's out of bounds and incomplete. Back on second down at 10. Maurer throws one into traffic, and the true freshman Maurer could be looking at a blitz. He is under some pressure. Tripped up, and he goes down. Dent the scoreboard for the first time for the box. A lot of communication. The play clock winding down. Trask over the middle, knocked away. Screen. Van Jefferson. Swain goes in motion. There's a blitz coming off the edge. They throw to Swain right behind the blitz. And he's got the first down. Michael Piron. Cross midfield. Piron up the middle. Inside the 30 yard line. Play action for Trask. Floating one towards Swain in the end zone. Touchdown. Watch this safety. Once he goes and goes after Kyle Pitts right there, Freddie Swain's gonna open up down the middle of the field. Number two receiver, that quarter safety drives. Beautiful trajectory by Kyle Trask. Touchdown Gators. And now back to the offense for a Tennessee team with a true freshman at quarterback. And Brian Maurer is going to float one out of bounds. Hour. Screen intended for the tight end. See if you send someone down it. Hour under pressure. Across his body. It's tipped. And on a dive, it's intercepted. Amari Bernie gets the pick. Third Tennessee turnover. This turnover is forced by Marco Wilson playing a trap corner. Just kind of baiting the quarterback to think you've got that out route. And let's credit Bernie running to the football, playing his leverage the right way. You see Marco Wilson coming in from the left. Right at the right moment, that bang, bang play. Tip balls lead, lead to interceptions. 14 out of the last 15 years, they've come up short. As the Michael Piron takes the carry. Trask steps back. Under pressure, holds onto the ball forever. Rock on your hand. Four-man rush on third down. Long throw to the sideline, underthrown, and it looks like a Tennessee interception. Much needed. Theo Jackson picks off Kyle Trask. Back in the game. And Maurer slant, tipped right back to him. That's a completion. It never hit the deck. Twelve. And off to Chandler. Spun down, but very close to a first down. Sideline, who's about to call a timeout and instead let his team run the play with the football. Eric Gray, tackle for loss. Bauer, out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it under. And that 
Is Jennings in motion? Mauer instead takes a shot down the sideline. No chance coming into today. Try and change field position. Wobbly kick. Freddie Swain, fair catch. And gets hit. That's going to be about as dumb a penalty as you can commit. And look who commits it. The last guy you would think that would be guilty of that kind of a mistake, Jawan Jennings. A clear fair catch signal was made. And then Jennings runs right into Swain. It's going to cost him 15 yards. Kick catch interference on the kicking team, number 15. 50-yard penalty with the kick. First down. Let that sink in. Pierce. Questions around that football team. Trask somehow squeezes the slant in for a first down. Looks for the Jets. Trask curls it to the sideline. Another blitz. It gets home again. There's a five-man rush. Trask over the middle. Wide open. Trask taking a shot towards the end zone for Grimes. It's tipped and intercepted. Jimmy Pruitt pushes another quarterback button. They've got Garantano back in with the jet sweep to Josh Palmer. Breaking tackles. I challenge anybody to find some success in that. Draw play to Eric Gray. The freshman to the sideline. Garantano out of the pocket. Finds its way to Callaway. Callaway breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds to the Florida 31 yard line. Gray lost the football. And it looked like after Bernard knocked it out that maybe the ball's recovered. But now the Gators are saying that Jawan Jennings didn't pick it up. And it is Gators football. Jawan Jennings looked as if he went over and scooped up the loose ball and somehow couldn't corral it. And the Tennessee offense gives it right back. Amari Bernie with another fumble recovery. Jonathan Grenard is his buddy Zanig is not playing. He wants to get player of the game. Just the physicality. Throws the tackle off him, gets his hand in there. Jennings tries to scoop it up. Left hand popped the ball right on top. I'm stronger than you. Ball comes out for the young freshman Eric Gray. And watch Jennings. What do they always say? Go fall on it rather than trying to scoop. Carter, off another takeaway. Trask. He's going to take a shot down the sideline for Copeland. And Copeland drops the ball. Play action for Trask over the middle. Trayvon Grimes. Trask at midfield. Swings one to Piron. Now Emory Jones goes in the game. Zone read. And help our neighbors in the Bahamas. As P. Ron goes up the middle, breaks a tackle. Emory Jones hands one to Pierce. Andy and Pierce dragging tacklers down to the 10 yard line. Emory Jones and one to P. Ron, but that was a little iffy. Guys that are going to be out there on Saturdays. Pierce breaks another tackle and Stutter steps into the end zone with a 10 yard Gator touchdown. One three, the Gators on top, and that was a statement drop. The big back, Damian Pierce, not going to arm tackle him into the end zone. Florida big. Oh mercy, he was a head football coach even as a PE teacher. And to learn more, you can follow the CFP. Garantano gives it to Ty Chandler again. Depending on their circumstances. Garantano goes down again. 
Trask in the backfield for Florida as they start at their own 35 yard line with a screen to Jacob Copeland. Copeland drops for Jones back in. Malik Davis takes the handoff. Emory Jones spreads out the balls. And quarterback straight ahead run for a first down. Jones swings one to Davis. Malik Davis to midfield. In the absence of Jabari Zuniga, he has been a difference maker. As Malik Davis tries to get to the sideline. The defensive coordinator at Louisville. There's a slant for Van Jefferson. He makes the catch. He, to say the least, Malik Davis. About coaching, they don't know how much you know. Do they know how much you care? Or they don't care how much you know. Do they know how much you care? Him being, hey, come out and, and come play for us. He's four for four for 20 yards throwing the ball. They're going to make it five for five. Incomplete. And they're going for it on fourth down and four here. On his own read. And first down. Two. I got a good story about that 79th Sugar Bowl. As Emory Jones going to walk one down the sideline. Jump ball at the goal line batted around. Got it. And now Brian Maurer, the freshman, is back in. Ty Chandler. Now to a high school career through for 64 touchdowns. And he really may be the quarterback of the future for the balls. Is looks like the last play of the game is going to be a handoff to Tim Jordan. And Jordan gets walloped by LaCedric Brunson. And that completes a very convincing win for Dan Mullins Gators. 34 to 3. The first test, full game test in front of the home crowd without Felipe Franks for a backup quarterback and Kyle Trask. And all Trask does is come out, throw for 293 yards and a couple of touchdowns. And to talk with the head coach about that, here's Allison. Thank you guys very much, Coach. I know the story coming into this game was your new starter at quarterback, but I want to start with your defense and what they did well today to force those turnovers and hold Tennessee to three points. We really played hard. We had 11 guys run the ball. We keep talking about it. We've had some opportunities to great turnovers. First couple games didn't get them. I just stress, 11 guys run as hard as you can in the football. Good things will happen. We played hard when that happens. And we had the opportunity, got after him, made some plays. I got to ask you about this guy here, Kyle Trask. Obviously, he's played for you, but this was his first start. Yeah. What did he do well? He did a great job, but we expected that. He really came in, managed the game well. You saw him make good decisions. We didn't have to hold anything back. We threw the whole game plan out there. He knows that he's played it before and did, a, I, I thought, did an amazing job. You know, I mean, uh, you know, led us up and down the field, made all kinds of great reads, made a bunch of great throws. You know, had some confidence out there. Hopefully he had some fun. They've been waiting a long time for this. I hope he had a fun day. There's a smile, finally. It certainly looked fun for you out there. And Kyle, I know you tried to say that this was still a normal game for you, but it has been since your freshman year of high school, since you took the first snap in a football game. So what did it feel like for you today? Uh, I mean, it felt great. Um, I mean, we had a great week of practice, and I was ready to come out here. And all, all phases of the team did a great job, offense, defense, special team, and I'm just really proud of our team. What did allow you guys to work so efficiently on offense today? Uh, we had a great week of practice. Um, everybody was, you know, all dialed in the whole week. And, I mean, I wasn't surprised to come out here and produce the way we did. What was going on with you and Felipe Frank throughout the game? He seemed to really be in your ear a lot, trying to help and support you. Yeah, like I said, you know, like I said last week, he's a great leader for our team. And, you know, he's always there. He's always at the facility helping out. And, you know, he's a great friend of mine. So, you know, a great teammate. And he's just trying to help me out after every series. Kyle, thanks so much for the time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Kyle Trask certainly looks like a starting quarterback. Played like it today. And Florida wins going away over Tennessee. For Dan Orlovsky and Allison Williams and our entire crew, I'm Bob Wachusen. So long from Gainesville. We head back to Matt in the studio.